all over the world so we meet again to have a lesson together in this video please follow me so here we go again with another lesson and another plan so today we have two things to do first we are going to present the layout which is task 1 question 2 page 45 and second we are going to write an email about KTBC. This is task 1, question 3, page 45. So let's start. So before we start we need to review or read the situation on page 44. So here we have the task. I read, my English web pal Richard has asked me about famous Algerian writers. I have decided to write him an email in which I will give him some biographical information about Katib Yassim, an outstanding modern Algerian writer. So here's our situation. And here is the biography card that we are going to follow in order to write an email to Richard about Katib Yassim. So first, we need the biography card. We need to follow it. So the biography card is about Katib Yassin and it is going to be written in a form of an email sent to Richard. Now we are going to see the layout. So here's the layout. We have salutation, hello, hi, dear, Richard, etc. So we mean by salutation is greetings. So, for informal situations, what does it mean informal? It means you use it with persons you know very well. For example, your friends, your siblings, brothers, sisters, cousins. So, it is in an informal way. So, here you are going to greet them using hi or hello. For formal situations, it means with the persons you don't know or you respect very much. So here you don't use hi or hello, you use dear, for example, dear Richard. Next we have the introduction. We are going to write one or two sentences. So in the introduction, I give Kat Biasin's date and place of birth and talk about the importance of his writings and his attitude and opinions during the French colonial period. So in the introduction, we are going to describe the famous figure briefly and then we are going to write the date and the place of his birth. Next we have development. In the development we write four or five sentences. I give information about Kate Biasin's life, the most important events in his life and writings, his most important works in literature, fiction and drama. I organize the biographical information in chronological order and remember to express cause and effect using the appropriate connectors which I have learned. So first in the development you are going to talk about the early life and education of Katib Yassin. You are going to mention his occupation or his jobs, the jobs he did in the past and you are going to mention his famous works or achievements, the important works that he did in the past. Then you are going to use chronological order, it means the order of time or of dates when writing the past events and you are going to use cause and effect with their connectors. Conclusion, I give Ketib's date and place of death and mention that he is one of the most respected and talented figures in Algerian literature. So here in the conclusion, we are going to mention the date and place of death of Katib Yassim and then we are going to describe the importance of his works or his novels. In the end, we are going to close our email by writing any of these words, kind regards, best regards, yours sincerely, etc. So this is the form that we are going to follow in order to write the email about Get Be Seen to our friend Richard.
still in the layout. Now we are going to see what information we should write following the layout and following the biography of KTBSE, the biography card. So first, we have the introduction. Here's the information we are going to write in the introduction. August 2nd, 1929, Kate was born in Smando near Constantine. Second for development, we have first May the 8th, 1945, when the demonstrations of Setif, Harata and Gelma broke out, the young Ketbiasin was a Buddha at the Setif High School. This is the first element in development. Second, May 11th, 1945, he was arrested and held for two months. After that, he was not allowed back into school. During his detention, his mother became insane. The last element in development is from 1946 to 1977. These are the past events in general that happened in the life of Ket Biasin from 1946 to 1977, which should be included in the development part. Then we have in the, in the conclusion, October 28th or 28th, 1989, Kate Biasin died in Grenoble, France. So this is the biography card, so we divided the information in the biography card following the, lay the layout that we have, the introduction, development and conclusion. Now let's move to task 1, question 3, page 45. So here we have question number 3, I read, I can write my email to my English friend in my copybook. First we need to identify or to write the parts of the email. So here we have a form of an email and we have different parts of email. Now you have two minutes to write down the different parts of the email and different names of the parts of the email. You have two minutes. Answers. So here the first part, it's written to Richard Paxton at sendemail.edu.uk. So this is the name of or the email of the recipient, the one who is going to receive the message and read it. Second part is the subject or the topic you are going to write about, which is 
an email about get be seen. Third, we have hello Richard, the salutation. And then the last one, we have the message you are going to write, talking about the information from the biography card of Kat Biasin. Well done. Now we are going to write our email together. So here we have the form of the email. Now first, the first part we are going to write is the name of the recipient to means you are going to write the email of the recipient. Second, you are going to write the subject or the topic, the title of your email. And then you are going to start with the salutation, the greetings for your friend. And after that, you are going to write a short introduction to start your email. So now you have three minutes to write these four elements. to do that so we have two the email is richard paxton at sandymail.edu.uk now the subject for example a famous algerian figure let's start with the salutation dear richard and then the short introduction last time you asked me to write you about an outstanding figure in my country Ketbi Asin was one of the most famous and talented Algerian writers in history. So this is just a short introduction in the email to start your email with by introducing Ketbi Asin as a famous Algerian figure. Now please you are going to write about the date and the place of birth of Ketbi Asin and his education in just one or two sentences. You have two minutes.
to do with that. He was born on August 2nd, 1929 in Smando near Constantine, when the demonstrations of 8th May 1945 started, he was a student at the city of high school. So this is just a sentence to write about his date and place of birth and his education briefly. Now quickly you are going to write about his early life, just one sentence in two minutes. Here's our sentence. On May 11, 1945, his mother became insane because he was arrested and held for two months. Now you need to write, following a chronological order or following dates, the famous works of Ketibiasin briefly. So now you have four minutes to write a short paragraph about his works and achievements.
let's see an example of how to do it. So, in 1946, he published a volume of poems and supported the Algerian Revolution by giving political talks. From 1947 until his death, he worked as a journalist, a poet, a playwright and a novelist, where he published many works, including Nijma in 1956 and Le Cercle de Represailles in 1959. Eleven years later, he supported the Vietnamese against the USA and therefore wrote his play, The Man with the Rubber Sandals, and Mohammed grabbed your suit for the Algerians against France. He also wrote Betrayed Palestine about the problem in Palestine in 1977. So this was his, these were, sorry, his works briefly following chronological order. Now the last step in the email is that you are going to write about the date and place of death following, uh, followed by a short conclusion to conclude your email. And in the end, you are going to write the closing. It means the words that are going to close your email and at the bottom of the email, your name. So now you have two minutes to write all these animates. So here's a short conclusion. Kat Biasin died on October 28, 1989 in Grenoble, France. He is a prominent figure in literature with his novels and plays against the colonizer and the pride of Algeria and the Arab world. And we have the closing best regards and in the end you write your name. So thank you for trying. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the lesson and if you have any questions please comment in the section below. Thank you for being attentive. See you next time. Bye. شكرا على المشاهدة. لا تنسوا الاشتراك في القناة، الضغط على الجرس، الإعجاب بالفيديو.